Howdy 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 my beautiful Aquarius, how are you doing today darling? My name is Simply Valka and today we're going to be getting into your weekly tarot reading Aquarius for November 2022. So we're going to be getting into your predictions, your horoscope today Aquarius, see what we can be uh, tapping into with these tarot cards. And if you enjoy this tarot reading today Aquarius, be sure to let me know in the comments below how this tarot reading helps you out, that's how I keep up with y'all. Aquarius is through the comments of course. and uh also if you do enjoy this tarot reading check out your sun moon and your rising aquarius you wouldn't base your entire life off of your one zodiac sign so your tarot reading should never be different either and if you want to support me completely for free aquarius the best way to do that is just to give this video a like and subscribe it's free to do and i always appreciate those who take the extra step to support me in that way so all that being said aquarius let's just jump right into here because i see that there's some really urgent messages i need to be getting out for you guys here especially in this last row aquarius i'm going to be very honest here this is not going to be reading that's going to be meant for everybody here because i know i'm going to be talking to aquariuses who are here for a breakthrough who are ready to have major changes in their life through um things being bluntly said darling so if this is the type of reading that sounds good to you darling let's continue on now with your first row here about what you're currently dealing with being the ten of cups the devil card in the reverse aquarius and then the king of pentacles here so you can see this in two different ways aquarius all right in the first way you would see this with humans with socially right and with the ten of cups devil card in the reverse here this gives me and especially with this king of pentacles here i wouldn't be surprised if someone in your personal life family life is starting to mature overcoming an addiction or self-sabotaging you might be noticing someone in your personal life aquarius uh just essentially coming out of their shell it feels as if maybe they i don't want to say they hit like a rock bottom but there's definitely some stability some maturity that has happened in their life all right so whoever is coming into your life again you might not understand their motives or what have you here but just know that they there's definitely been a lot of personal work here and the intention seems to be pure now taking it away from the social aspect here Aquarius let's take this in one by one ten of cups this is a card talking about fulfillment nothing lacking in your life here this is what it is that you're heading towards right now with that ten of cups but the only way that you accomplish that is with the devil card in the reverse here all right the devil card is taking care of those devils in your life, taking care of those bad habits that you might be having with yourself. I get like this message here where it's just like maybe you're not social enough, Aquarius. Or I don't want to say you're not social enough, but there's there's this sense of where I feel like you're very easy to like just because I'm being shown like a hermit shell now. Maybe it's like you tend to just shut yourself off from the world here. Yeah, King of Pentacles being around, just rather be in the company of your animals rather than people and being in your own studious work. Not all the time a bad thing, but there is something that you need to be working on. Let's start clarifying this to have a better understanding, Aquarius. On the Fool, uh, on the Ten of Cups, you have the Fool clarifying that. Pretty impactful here. Let's get one more to clarify this fully. Ten of Pentacles in the reverse. Interesting. Ten of Cups, the Fool card, and then the Ten of Pentacles in the reverse here. So the message I have you coming in here, uh, Aquarius, it's like you have the right idea. All right. So the, for example here, maybe it's like you have a passion of an art or a project or that you've been wanting to get up off the ground here. It's like you have the right idea it just may not be giving you the paychecks that you need it to support you you know for example if i was an aquarius or i had aquarius in my chart i would see this and be like okay you know if this related to me i'd be like okay you you know i'm on the right track with youtube it's not paying me as much as it potentially could eventually it's not paying all my bills but full energy there letting me know that there's going to come a point in time where it does all right and so that's what i feel for you right now aquarius where it's just like you you have the right idea with things but there's some editing that needs to happen there's some editing there's some patience temperance energy in the heart of your spread here that needs to happen when it comes to this don't wash your hands clean of the situation just because right now you're not getting the results that you want aquarius there's the best has yet to come is the first message that came and then i'm being shown like curtains like a curtain call something being revealed or in something in that manner so definitely seems to be like something is being planned here clarifying that double energy we have the eight of wands this is the second time because we have the eight of wands right here as well all right 
So the Eight of Wands is clarifying this Devil card. I want to do one more. Ace of Swords here. The best way is, you know, I feel like right now, Aquarius, you have a certain type of anxiety. Maybe you have anxiety around people. You have an anxiety imposter syndrome or, you know, yeah, we'll just call it imposter syndrome, Aquarius. But it's just like you feel like you're not you have this imposter syndrome and the thing, you're not going to overcome that imposter syndrome just by time. You're going to overcome that imposter syndrome by actually doing does that make sense and so it's that sense uh for you Aquarius where it's like the moment you start taking action you'll see in quick succession how things validate you uh Aquarius you'll see how things p turn out but you're you're not going to understand that you're not going to see that until you take the action you got to give something a chance for spirit your spiritual team to your ancestors to do their work essentially here and then the king of pentacles is being clarified by the sun card all right home life stabilizing financially things are stabilizing you're able to catch up on your bills and actually start getting a decent savings is what i see aquarius but the balls in, in your court here all right you gotta you gotta have patience with those things you gotta overcome those inner demons if it's not internally what are you doing externally that's not helping things along right again if this is for me and i saw that row for me and i'd be like okay you know youtube's the right thing but what could i be doing to help uh invest more time into youtube or x y and z right so anyways what you have to be looking forward to aquarius you have the seven of pentacles the temperance and the chariot card coming in here in the reverse all right so what you have to be looking forward to aquarius while you see these cards initially and you're just like velka darling i don't know how this is you're going to be positive here stay with me all right in this type of dynamic here what you have to be looking forward to you have the chariot card coming in here in the reverse with that temperance card right now your how your life is going to play out is in such a way where it's just like you're like how what i'm being shown is like you're being stuck out in a desert your car breaks down and you're just stuck no no progress or nothing and then one day you're you're just patient you're just like you know what? at some point the vehicle is going to start working and then we'll be able to start going forward again with that temperance energy exuding that patience and then seven of pentacles coming in here confirming to you this is not a time for you to give up this is not a time for you to change gardens change what it is that you've been growing and investing into this is a time for you to have the patience you're going to have um your harvesting season your plants still have a chance to bear fruit essentially so let's clarify all of this here clarifying your chariot card you have the two of pentacles with the eight of pentacles coming in here i feel like for you aquarius the way to get this chariot up off the ground for you is you can't be juggling with too much here maybe you need to focus in on just one specific project focus in on just like one specific thing that you want to work on yourself with right instead of wanting to take care of your health while also tapping into your creative side writing a page a day you know maybe focus on just doing the page a day and then do the focusing on your physical health and then your mental health and stuff like that i feel like baby steps is it was something that you don't want to hear aquarius i feel personally but i feel like it's something that you should be doing darling is those baby steps clarifying this temperance energy you have the six of wands my favorite card in the minor arcana come on now aquarius all right this is the card of victory success public recognition have patience at this time what you have to be looking forward to aquarius is knowing that your patience pays off this isn't a time for you to be making uh drastic changes in your life giving up on something just because uh youtube isn't paying the bills that doesn't mean you stop creating videos all right clarifying that seven of pentacles you have the six of swords and then the ace of wands don't allow your emotions to get to the best of you aquarius and then even afterwards the seven of cups don't allow your emotions to get the best of you this is not a time to be changing past changing anything focus on your passion focus on like what keeps you going all right the paychecks may not reflect um uh, the passion that you have for that situation for that thing but eventually it will give it enough time and it will and let's get into your third row now aquarius all right where you've been getting straight to the points darling in your third row what you need to hear today the hanged man the eight of wands and the king of swords in the reverse here so what you need to hear today uh, aquarius is that you need to get more comfortable 
all right king of swords energy when this is in the reverse it's that message for you aquarius where it's like you need to get comfortable with this idea of understanding that you have value understanding that you have intelligence the thing that comes to mind with this is the game of thrones i think it's probably because i've watched the house of dragons recently uh aquarius but it's just like the characters in game of thrones the characters in house of dragons they're not waiting for someone else to validate to them and be like oh you're really smart you're really you know x y and z they're going to take advantage of it and aquarius i feel like that's something that you need to just acknowledge not just think that everyone's trying to take advantage of you aquarius but it's like people develop opinions of themselves from themselves right that cocky person that you know off the side of the road or in that one starbucks or what have you that cocky person you know maybe the other people gave him a reason to be cocky but that cocky person only was able to fully feel cocky because they had to tell themselves they had to convince themselves even if they didn't initially believe it that their word had purpose that when they walk into a room people pay attention to them it may be delusional thinking but it gets the job done right and so I feel like you want to lean into a little bit more of that delusional energy. I feel like it's not natural. I mean, it's not natural to most people, I feel. But I feel like it's not natural for you, Aquarius, to think of yourself as a place of a, as a person that has a lot of value. I don't think you see humans in that way in general. But I do feel like, Aquarius, it is important to be able to call a spade a spade. It's like, yeah, I know I'm, t I know I'm a bad bitch. I know I'm tough shit. But I also don't need to like let everyone know. I just am going to carry myself in such a way. And I feel like for you, Aquarius, the main blockage that's been happening for you, Eight of Cups here, the main blockage that's been happening for you is like you're struggling with the idea of detaching yourself from your old, the old version of yourself. So let me say, for example, for your, let me use my, like, since I've just been using myself as all for all the analogies here um it this was for me and i related to any of this aquarius if i saw this and you know when i first started my youtube channel i was uncomfortable speaking when i did readings i didn't even use my voice i just wrote emails for people and eventually i built up the confidence to do what i do now like i'm i'm constantly reading tarot cards now you know i'm doing hundreds of readings each month you know and so if i had to get comfortable with the idea king of swords energy that people wanted to listen to me that people respected my views they respected my readings it was something that built up and if this was if this reading was for me and i related to this on my own journey i would see this and be like oh okay i'm struggling with this idea of accepting myself from a higher pedestal from a higher place of power where i accept myself as a terror reader a public figure a terror reader you know because back six years ago 10 years ago i was reading tarot cards in high school you know whereas like nothing has really changed other than my age and my confidence would have you but i'm no longer referencing what i used to be as a child as a teenager to who i am now because i understand the journey from then to now built me to who i am currently which is the king of swords and that's who you are aquarius I hope this didn't get too confusing for you. I tried the best way possible to just speak the word that I felt most inspired to speak. And hopefully the, all of a sudden, all these analogies are, helps better relate it to your own personal life, Aquarius. But um, that's what I have for you. And uh, yeah, thank you so much for allowing me this privilege to read these tarot cards to you. I'll connect to you sometime in the near future, Aquarius. Bye, darling.